Well, monumental day here at Quail Lodge, 50 years of operation. Also, the day that Tim Lincecum pitches his second no-hitter. This is uh, really something, Lawson Little. I'm a huge Giant fan, and I'm very happy for Tim. The Freak. Well, we're celebrating 50 years of the opening of the golf course, and I was lucky and privileged to have been a junior in high school and played golf in 1964 when it first opened. Well, it was 50 years ago when Ed Haber said, hey, this is what we want to do. It was a dairy farm, as I understand it, and every tree out here was planted and not uh, for uh, any other purpose than to create this golf course. Well, Ed Haber was a true visionary because there were, <clears throat> in the 60s, there were plenty of lots to buy in Carmel by the sea and tea times there was plenty of golf courses and golf was not as popular as it is today and you could call up at Pebble Beach and get a tea time for tomorrow or and 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 so for Ed Haber to come and think to build a golf course out in Carmel Valley people thought he was a little off but uh, visionaries know about doing things in the future and what Mr. Haber brought was a uh, he built a, not only a golf course and a hotel that earned the Mobile Five Star for 20 years, but he built a community, a gorgeous community for people to live and for the people that live in the community to work. And it was just a, just a visionary's dream uh, come true. And for a guy like me who lives here to be able to work here, play golf here, and here we are 50 years later, pretty special.